You want to learn how to make Gravlax at home. Maybe it's because you don't want to pay its outrageous price. Maybe you just don't want the crazy additives in the store-bought version. Or maybe you just want to have more Gravlax to enjoy with your hard-earned money. Whatever reason you have, you are at the right place. In this video, I will share with you how to make your easy homemade Gravlax recipe. It will take you five minutes of preparation. You will use three simple ingredients. And of course, if you like this kind of content all about simplifying yet leading a more meaningful Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. The first step is to choose a very good piece of full fat salmon with its skin on, whether it's a grade quality farm salmon or grade A defrosted wild caught salmon. You are going to rinse it and then pat it dry. Place it in a baking sheet covered with some plastic wrap in an X shape. Mix an equal part of sugar and kosher salt, about half a cup of each for a two pound salmon. You can stop the seasoning here, but I'd like to add some pickle spices as well. You can add whatever herbs or spices you want. Mix everything together. Then place half of your easy salmon cure mixture at the bottom of your baking sheet. Place your salmon on it. Then add the other half of your spice mixture on top of your homemade Gravlox, making sure that every nook and cranny is fully covered with the salt, sugar, and herb mixture. Cover completely your salmon with your dill. I like to use a lot of dill, but you can add as little or as much as you want. Wrap your Gravlox salmon tightly in your plastic wrap. Start by the sides, then the bottom, then the top, and make sure that everything is secured. You can add weight at this point on your homemade locks. I use large tomato cans, but you can use whatever is available to you. Leave the salmon to cure for 36 to 48 hours in your refrigerator. After that time, remove it. Then you will see that liquid will have pulled at the bottom of the baking sheet. It's a good thing. Unwrap your salmon. You can remove the cure and dill and leave some behind or rinse it off completely depending how much flavor you want in your Gravlax. You will notice at this point that the surface texture of your salmon has changed. It is slightly harder than at the beginning, which is the result of the cure. Dry the surface with paper towel. Your Gravlax is ready, but for an extra oomph, cover it with plastic wrap and leave it for an extra four to eight hours in your fridge to form a slightly harder outer layer that will help you cut this beautiful piece of lox in thin slices. Put your homemade lox in an airtight container and store it up to three days in your refrigerator or up to six months if frozen. Enjoy your quick and easy Gravlax recipe with your sushi as a lox platter, which is perfect if you go the gluten-free way in your salad and of course as part of your classic cream cheese and lox bagel. As a follow-up to this video, I would encourage you to watch these two videos. Thank you again for being here. And of course, if you like this kind of content all about saving time, money, simplifying it, leading a more meaningful Jewish life, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We do upload new content every week. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.